every now and then I get feelings of kind of like, not regret, but I think to myself, like, did I make a mistake in the career that I chose? Because whenever I look at like my student loan debt, I'm like, damn, like, was it worth it? Gosh, like, I don't know if I was supposed to do this. Like, did I make a mistake? Should I have been doing something else? Blah, 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 negative, negative, negative. But yeah, like they're very real thoughts and it happens. But sometimes patients or people in general just ask me like, oh, how'd you get into PT school? Or like, how did you end up being a PT? And whenever I tell that story, it kind of just like blows my mind every time and the people listening. So I figured I'd just share it to blow more minds maybe. Okay, let's start in the past. So 2014, I graduated from undergrad with a degree in pre-physical therapy and a minor in bio. There is no PT school on Guam. So I did this knowing that I would have to leave the island in order to pursue being a physical therapist. I had no idea how I was gonna do that and I had no plan. I just kind of did it. Graduating was like, okay. Uh, now I just save up lots of money so I can get into school and become a physical therapist. Yeah. Not a very good plan. So I ended up working as a teacher and I was coaching and playing soccer for a while while saving up peanuts, hoping that I could apply to schools and maybe live in like a seven roommate home to get by. Still not a good plan. Fast forward to 2017, Abby and I get married and she ends up joining the Air Force because one of our agreements to getting married was we can only get married if we both do something for ourselves. I was applying to the Air Force as an officer and I was waiting to get in. Well, I didn't get in. <laughs> I actually was really close to getting in and I was recommended to reapply without changing my application. But once I found out that the military would actually pay for wherever I could live with Abby, that kind of changed the game. I was like, oh, I could probably just go to PT school then. I kind of want to apply to this and I don't want to resubmit my application. So I didn't. The thing about that was I had to actually wait and figure out where Abby was going to get stationed because there were a bunch of schools all over the country, near a bunch of bases all over the country where Abby could get stationed. And rather than applying to like 50 schools, I kind of wanted to wait to see where she would end up. Well, in the process, I also had to make sure that I was eligible to apply. And it turns out, since it had been almost four years since I finished school, uh, my anatomy credits were really, really old, like, like dusty old. <laughs> A lot of the schools would not let you in if you didn't have anatomy credits that were five to six years old or like newer. Mine were seven. <laughs> And there was only, I think, one school on the entire list that allowed your anatomy credits to be eight years old. That school was in Virginia. So I needed Abby to get stationed at this one base, 20 minutes away from this one school that would let me get in with the credits that I had the way they were. She did not get stationed at that one base. She actually got stationed in the Panhandle of Florida and a base five hours away from the nearest PT school, which I was not eligible to apply to. So I'm like, well, that's it. Guess I'm not gonna be a PT. I'm just gonna apply to like sports medicine programs, anything sportsy and teacher-like, and then go from there. So I start doing that, and then Abby calls me and says, hey, so this guy actually has the base in Virginia that we want, and I have the base in Florida that he wants and we can trade. So they did. <laughs> and just like that, we got the one base in the one state next to the one school that would take me. So I apply and I get in. Like, I applied to that one school and I got in. Like, I don't know what happened. The universe was on my side. Dice rolled in my favor. Wow, what are the freaking odds? Okay, so fast forward, I graduate from Hampton and I get a DM on Instagram saying, congratulations, Dr. Iriarty. And I'm like, how do I know this person? This account is not like familiar, spam, I don't, I don't know. Turns out that we played against each other in high school basketball. She's living in Fairfax, Virginia, and we are going to be living in Arlington, Virginia within the next few months. 20 minutes away from each other. Like, what are, what are the odds? She also happens to be working 13 minutes away from my apartment. 
So she tells me like, hey, we're hiring, you should come check it out. So I go through the interview process with several different practices. Turns out I like the one that she's at the most. What are the odds that I meet somebody from Guam out here in Virginia who lives 20 minutes away from me and works 13 minutes away from my apartment? Like, if the universe had to spell out what I was supposed to be doing, I'm pretty sure I got the hint. I just think to myself like, okay, I think I'm supposed to be doing what I'm doing because if I wasn't, I think I took all the hints the wrong way all the time and ended up here. <laughs> the point of this story is my mom used to always say everything happens for a reason. And that would piss me off, especially when things that were bad would happen. She'd be like, well, guess you weren't supposed to go to that sleepover. Everything happens for a reason. I'm like, well, what was going to happen if I went? Like, ugh. It would just make me so mad. And recently my brother just broke his ankle and he was supposed to go to sniper school. And I don't think he's going and guess what I told him? Probably not what he wanted to hear, but everything, everything happens for a reason. reason. <clears throat> I'm not a very religious person, but I love this. Accept the things that I can't and the wisdom to know the difference. With that being said, I hope this video helps anybody who may feel like where they're at in life isn't where they're supposed to be and maybe analyze where you can make a difference and the things that you can control to change the things that you want to change to get yourself out of a position you may not want to be in or to just genuinely be grateful for where you're at because I think I was kind of being ungrateful because I think there's a lot of people out there that would want to have the path that I took to get to where I am. So yeah, just reflecting. I hope that was helpful. Happy, uh, happy Easter. <laughs> okay, bye.